All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution here to discuss. Well, just an example two of the precise definition of a limit. I just want to clarify things on this and basically go further into the precise definition of the limit. Also, just a recap on it. I showed my earlier video in depth on what this was. Basically, if you recap, let f be a function defined on some open interval. It just means it doesn't have to uh, equal the uh, endpoints. Uh, you can see the video link below on open and closed intervals. It also contains a number a, except possibly at a. That's what uh, all it needs to be. The limit needs to be uh, needs to exist. Then we can say that the limit of a function f x as x approaches a is is this l. And we write it uh, like this, limit x approaches a f x equals to l. If for every number epsilon, which is also which is greater than zero, there's a number delta, which is also greater than zero, such that you have the difference between f x uh, minus l, this difference uh, is less, or the absolute value of it is less than epsilon whenever x minus a, because x is approaching a, whenever this little interval is less than delta. So you make sure to watch that video um, on the video link below on precise definition of the limit. But now we're going to go over example two. Now example two states, well, basically prove that the limit uh, as x approaches three of four x minus five is equal to seven. Well, if you just plug this in, you get uh, four times uh, three minus five, which is 12 minus 5, this is equals to 7 right here. So if you plug it in, you'll see that it's 7. But we're, we want to know the limit as x is approaching 3 in a systematic way, proving this. In example 1, I just I use an actual uh, number here. Like, I actually use an interval with numerical numbers to uh, just to illustrate how you find the limit. But that wasn't concrete proof. So now we'll show you, a, to get the concrete proof of it, we just have to look at this basic definition. And we have to find this number, to basically find, uh, or just write it in such a way that you'll have the difference between f of x and the limit as less than this epsilon whenever this uh, condition is uh, true here. So basically if we write this down, f of x minus l, yeah, whenever x minus a is uh, less than delta. And in this case, uh, we, f of x is going to be, well, 4x minus 5. And then we're going to be minusing it by the limit, which is 7. And this is going to be less than epsilon. Now, whenever uh, x minus 3 is less than delta right here. So now, if we just look at this one right here, because uh, the idea of the limit uh, is basically, yeah, if you have this condition, regardless of how small this is, even if it's 0.0001, all saying is the difference between f of x and the limit is really small. It just means that if it's really small, you're approaching 3, and this has to be also small for any number as long as it's greater than 0. So now if we just rearrange this one, uh, what we'll find out is absolute value. This one, 4x minus 5 minus 7. This is, Add these up. This is going to be negative. Well, this is just 12 right here. And then this this part equals, we could take the 4 out, actually. Uh, you could just take the 4 out. The absolute value doesn't affect the, the positive values of it. Then we're going to have an x minus th uh, 3 right here. And now, as you can see from here, this is less than delta. But now this x minus 3, this is equal to, well, this uh, this delta right here and this epsilon here. So we divide this out both sides by 4. Both sides by 4. We're going to get uh, this one x minus 3 is less than epsilon over 4. And then if we compare it to the exact same one uh, that we we're trying to find, yeah, this x minus 3, not delta, uh, this less than delta, yeah, if we just just look at the comparison of this one, this suggests that, well, delta is equal to epsilon uh, over 4 right here. So now we have this condition right here, and by the limit uh, definition, we've, we've proved this, but I'll, I'll just write this down a bit. Yeah, so basically, uh, this one, we have this uh, f of x or 4x minus 5 less than 7. The difference between this and the limit is less than epsilon whenever x minus 3 is less than epsilon divided by 4. So then, what this is saying now because we have the value for this delta right here. So we, we know this one is going to be their delta. So now it's saying, regardless of how small this is, let's say epsilon is equal to 0 0.00001, etc. Delta now is going to be whatever this is divided by 4 right here. So it's going to be this divided by 4. So this is also, this is just really, really small as well. I don't want to divide it out. I just don't want to, yeah, but anyways, uh, but so yeah, so basically it's really, really small. So then by the definition, yeah, by the pre precise definition, we just recapped above limit as x approaches 3 of 4x minus 5 is equal to 7. And if we just look at this visually again, I, I've done this uh, many times in my earlier videos on precise definition. If we just go look at the limit at 7 right here, just drag this uh, line down there and I'll, this is going to be at the 3 right here. 
Yeah, I just uh, corrected those uh, lines right here. This is actually the seven right here. This is the limit. So this this is all it is is if this is uh, epsilon, this is epsilon. Now this is the delta, but in this case we're gonna have epsilon divided by four. It's epsilon divided by four. So as you can see, if this is our a or or our three, let's put it a here. So basically, all it's saying is that the limit we're approaching this the seven right here. If this if f of x is somewhere, let's say over here, f of x is somewhere. The, uh, yeah, f of x, the value is right here, or uh, across right here. It, all it's saying is that it's within this range. So what, if, if this is really, really small, we're just going to be getting closer and closer to this. And since we're dividing this by 4, and then all we're doing is basically getting closer and closer to this number right here. So if it was something like this, we're just going to get closer and closer, and it's going to be somewhere in here. So that, that's all, all it uh, basically is saying. You can see video links below on, on precise definition. I go with the, through this in more in depth. Basically, that's all it is. All you got to do is find this little delta right here. It's usually in terms of epsilon. Because all you do is pick any number here. In my earlier video, I had a number of epsilon. I think it was uh, 0.2. But now we're going with any number. So it doesn't matter what it is. I just write that down. It can be any positive number because we're not looking at negative. It's absolute value here as long as it's greater than zero. So it can be any. It doesn't matter how small it is. We're still gonna have this. Uh, yes, we're still gonna have this case right here. X minus three is gonna be less than because we're dividing that by whatever this really small number is by four and just getting closer and closer to this until it basically reaches this limit of seven at x equals three. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned from this example. And remember, you could uh. Download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And that's all for today, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.